Long ago, when stones were soft and animals weren't quite ready yet, the rabbit had a very, very long tail. And the dog and the rabbit were best of friends. They were always together. They would have breakfast together, lunch together, supper together. They were best of friends. One morning, the dog and the rabbit were having breakfast together when Anansi came by. The dog looked and said, Anansi, what are you doing up so early? You never get up before 12 o'clock, Anansi said. I wanted to get up early this morning, you see, because there's a boat leaving, and the boat is going to the magical island. The magical island? I've always wanted to go to the magical island, said the dog. Well, you can't go. You don't have any horns. The only animals allowed on the boat are animals with horns. You can't go. But I want to go on the boat. I want to go on the boat. I want to go on the boat, said the dog. You can't go. You don't have any horns. The dog looked at the rabbit and said, I want to go on the boat. I want to go on the boat. I want to go on the boat. The rabbit said, you heard what Anansi said. We don't have any horns. We can't go on that boat. Anansi knew he had planted the seeds of trouble. Anansi went back into the woods to his home. The dog said, but I want to go on the boat. Well, let me think for a second, said the rabbit. I got an idea. Let's go into the woods. We'll each find two long sticks and a couple of leaves. And we'll poke the sticks up through the holes in the leaves. And we'll get some vines. And we'll tie the sticks off. We'll make headpieces, like bonnets. But once we place them on our heads, those sticks will be poking up in the air. And it'll make us look just as if we have horns. And that's just what they did. They both went into the woods. They each found two long sticks and a couple of leaves. And they poked the sticks up through the holes in the leaves. And they got some vines. And they tied the sticks off. They made beautiful headpieces like bonnets. But you see, the headpieces that they made were rather heavy. And they had to help one another, place them on each other's head. So the dog said, uh, Rabbit, you help me put mine on and I'll help you. And the rabbit agreed. He picked up the dog's headpiece and he placed it on the dog's head. The dog took those vines and tied a nice knot under his chin. And then the dog walked over to the water to look at his reflection. And he said, I look nice, I look nice, I look nice. The rabbit said, yeah, you look nice. Now help me put mine on. Wait a minute, I'm looking at myself. I look nice, I look nice, I look nice. Will you help me? Well, just then. The boat started to leave. The dog said, oh, I got to go. Goodbye. And off he went. The rabbit said, but wait, but wait, but wait for me. And the dog ran, and he got right in line with all those animals with horns. And that dog got right on that boat, along with the cow and the ram and the goat and the bull and the buffalo and the yak and the ox. And the dog got right on that boat, and that boat started to leave. The rabbit looked. The rabbit was angry. And he noticed a little hill next to the water. Well, the rabbit ran over to that hill. And as that boat was sailing by, the rabbit called out, Captain, oh, Captain, one of your passengers has no horns. The dog went over to the captain and said, Captain, did you hear what he said? He said, turn the boat to the left, to the left. And the captain turned that boat to the left, to the left. The rabbit ran over to the next hill and he called out, Captain, oh, Captain, one of your passengers has no horns. And once again, the dog went over to the captain and said, Captain, did you hear what he said? He said, turn the boat to the right, to the right. And the captain turned that boat to the right, to the right. The rabbit looked. There was only one hill left. He ran to the top of that hill, and he called out in a mighty voice, And I need your help. Captain, oh, Captain. One of your passengers has no home. And the wind took those words across the water, over the stern of that boat, right to the captain's ears. And the captain said, One of my passengers has no horns. Trim the sail, drop the anchor, stop the boat, and line up. And all those animals lined up. And the captain, he walked over to the cow, 
and the moose and the wildebeest and the yak and the giraffe and the ox. And he was getting closer and closer to the dog. The dog knew he was going to get caught. The dog jumped over the side of that boat and started doing the doggy paddle. The rabbit looked. He saw the redness in the dog's eyes. That rabbit, he lit on out. Now as the rabbit ran, his long tail flopped, and his long tail flopped, and the rabbit ran, and his long tail flopped while the dog was doing the doggy paddle. A whoosh, 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 whoosh. Well, finally, the rabbit was still running, and the dog reached the shoreline, and he shook that water off him, and that dog lit on out. And the rabbit ran, and his long tail flopped, and the dog was gaining. The rabbit ran, and his long tail flopped, and the dog was gaining. The rabbit ran, and his long tail flopped, and the dog was gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining. Finally, the rabbit reached the safety of his home, and he jumped down that rabbit hole. But he didn't have enough time to pull down that long, bushy, beautiful tail. And the dog came right up behind him and went, ah, and bit the rabbit's tail right off. And ever since that day, rabbits have short little tails, and dogs are always chasing them. Yes, they are. <laughs>